welcome back to the channel. I'm Odi J and we are locked in. This week's episode of P-Valley, in my personal opinion, has been the best written episode we got all season. And a lot of people agree with me Sunday during our live stream. Today, we're going to actually be talking about how Little Murder dropped the little and became big murder when he took out Pico. And we're going to be doing this with tweets from Katori Hall, the creator of the show, so we can know exactly what went on that night. Now, before we jump into this, if you like P-Valley content, live after show discussions, breakdowns like this, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and follow me on Instagram, M-O-E-D-O-T-J. So let's jump into it. How did LaMarcus go from little murder to big murder? What pushed him over the line? So let's jump into it. Before we start, if we all paid attention to detail, we would have caught the foreshadowing. The opening scene, we seen murder getting his hair cut by Uncle Clifford. Now, in the back of his head, it just says murder. There's no lull anywhere. Also, at the funeral, when he turned around, we seen murder again. So they were foreshadowing, letting us know that there's going to be some murder and some blood spilling. And somebody's got to go this episode. We all know how close Little Murder was to Big T. And at the funeral, we actually seen him get emotional and he started to cry about it. He gave him some lyrics before he left because if it gets dark down there, you'll have something that you can read. Now, this is the moment where Little Murder was thinking about what is his next move. And once he gets outside, that's when we actually start to see Little Murder transform. As Little Murder helps them carry the casket to the hearse, he ends up walking off in the OGs call him over and the reason ogs call him over is because they see something very disturbing going down on instagram live and of course who is it pico you remember he changed from hvh and went over to cfc and now he's claiming a body that he didn't do made that nigga casket sharp what the fuck i gotta say about this shit now you fuck with my set you'll get your wig split no cap nigga and now all of the ogs are telling little murder no matter what happened Someone's going to have to take care of this because if people are claiming bodies, it's going to look bad for HVH. And of course, Lil Murder is going to be the one up for this job. Using Miss Katori Hall's tweets, we're able to get a picture of what was going on in production when they came up with this scene. Don in blue and gold like a true operative with hair dyed back black. A mask murder blends seamlessly into Chief 5 Chief territory when he rolls up on Pico, who is talking to his son on the phone. This standoff has been a long time coming with the once HVH affiliate Pico, who fought season one, episode four, with murder at the pink due to his homophobic comments. Pico's claiming Big T as a kill in retaliation for being beat up in Memphis is against gang code. He's made himself a dead man walking in murder's eyes. You can't spit on another man's grave. Lil Murder's grief has turned into anger as he seems to relive his last moments with Big T. We did not see the glory details inside the car in 206, but it comes abundantly clear that Murder stayed with Teak until his very last breath. Murder comes with the pressure on that trigger, and in an instant, the deaf doula in white becomes the angel of death in black. Uncle Clifford etched into his hair what he was going to do in the first image of the episode, foreshadowing Murder's transformation. And that's what I was pointing out. They gave us all the images we needed. We just had to piece it together that somebody wasn't going to make it through this episode. I let him know his daddy love A mass murder runs from the crime scene as 21 Savage Red Ops plays. Like a great spy operative, murder uses the elements of disguise to blend, then break free from behind enemy lines. Helen of Troy was the face that launched a thousand ships. Big Teak might be the face that launches a thousand Dracos as this deeply personal slight lights a match to an already brewing war between Hurt Village Hustlers and Chief Five Chiefs. I guess the CFC don't give a fuck about no CDC. Man, man, somebody pop Pico. What? Hey, man. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect this change of events to happen in the show, but I'm glad we got to see Lil Murder live up to his name and become Big Murder. Now, the only thing is, HVH and CFC, this war could start to get a little bit bigger than what it already is, especially with Lil Murder back on tour and Maine is out of prison. He's with Mercedes and she's back at the pink. So these two could run into each other very easily, but this is what we've been looking for with the Lil Murder character, and I'm glad that we actually seen him earn that name. 
All right, first thing I want to know is, do you guys really think Little Murder is about that life? Or he just did this because, hey, he had a lot of feelings for Big T. Let me know what you think about that. And also, is this going to be bad business with Maine being out of prison? He's with Mercedes. She's at the pink. Keyshawn's at the pink. Little Murder's probably going to perform at the pink. Yeah, that means this war might be a little bit deeper than we thought. Let me know what you think. I'm Moda J. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.